Welcome to another episode of Cam Streamer Talks. My name is Pavel Kotiza, I am Cam Streamer BDM, and in this short video, I would like to introduce you our brand new Cam Switcher app. The app that enables you to mix multiple video sources and video clips stored on SD card so you can enhance your live stream. The whole beauty of the app is that you install it on your camera as you normally do using apps tab and uploading the installation file. After the installation file is uploaded, the app is ready to be run. You just turn the app on and log in to the app. When you log into app, you will be uh, asked to activate your trial, enter the license code or buy the license key. I already activated my trial, so you can see it here and my app is ready to be used for 30 days for free. In this environment, you have a couple options that you need to do to be able to mix live stream and pre-recorded video. A, you need to add your first camera, the one where cam switcher is installed. You just do it easily by clicking the add camera option and filling out the IP or using our scanner. Once the network is scanned, you can choose whatever camera you want to add and you can also add some couple more features, such as you can check the connection to the camera if the IP and the login are correct. You may choose what audio source you wanna use in that specific camera or none. And you can use what video channel you wanna use or you are on specific camera. What is really useful that you can name your camera with some fancy or vanity name, and you can assign a keyboard shortcuts to switch to this camera directly from your keyboard. So for example, I will assign to the main view or to this camera, I will assign a shortcut as one on my keyboard. And if camera has a PTZ positions, you can assign another keys like four, five, and six, to PTZ positions on that cameras. Now I will save my camera and you can see camera is here ready. So when I hit the play, it starts sending this live view from the camera infinitely and I can change the PTZ positions and I can turn the camera on and change the PTZ positions in if needed. And I can just easily by hitting the one, you can see that I'm switching on the camera. So now imagine that you would like to add a jingle or short video clip in this live stream that will be played, for example, manually or in a, in a predefined time, time frame. So let's upload the video clip, add the video clip, find the file. So choose the file from your computer. So it will be like Axis Q7098 Promo Key. I can I can for example assign a key A as an advertisement or Axis in this case. And let's add the video clip. Now the video is uploaded on a camera. Convert it to a, a friendly or stream friendly format and store it on the SD card. Okay, file is converted and it's now saving to the, the clip to the camera SD card. And our clip is ready. And you can easily see that if I will clip the clip, click here, it starts playing the video from the SD card. Now you can decide, you can either use the keys like one to switch to the camera or A to start playing the video clip or back to one. So this is the manual changes, great for sports so you can play a jingle in, in, in some break or here's the, here's the fact, if you would like to make it automated, for example, 10 seconds live stream, then play a video clip, then 10 seconds live stream, then play a video clip. You can do it easily by using our playlist. 
let's create a new playlist in this camera. So let's call it demo playlist. I will assign a keyboard P to the playlist so I can start it also. Now our playlist is empty. So let's add the video first by drag and drop and let's add the audio, uh, let's the promo clip as well. You may change the time for how long you want to keep every segment of this playlist on. So I want to keep 20 seconds live video, then play a promotion video clip and then go back for 20 seconds. Once you make it and you assign all the clips and videos, you can just start the playlist and you see it will go only once. But if you hit the loop on it, the playlist will start play infinitely. And you can easily switch to Cam Streamer app and create new stream that will not use a camera view, but instead we will choose to use Cam Switcher app for streaming 24 seven on YouTube, for example. Then you log in the same way as you are used with Cam Streamer. You log in your own Google account. And once you are logged in, you can easily fill out all the necessary information. You can, you know, you can copy your permanent link. And now we will start the stream. Save it to camera. And start the stream. Before we start the stream, please know that you cannot change the resolution, you cannot change all the audio options, it's all delivered by Cam Switcher. So let's start the stream to see if it works. All right, now Cam Streamer is fetching the view from Cam Switcher and pushing it on YouTube. So give it a couple more seconds to see when the stream really starts and using our permanent link, we can easily open the stream. So we can see stream outgoing stream is running stream status is active. So let's just open a new tab and paste our permanent URL. And our playlist made of 20 seconds live camera then video clip is now live streamed on a YouTube. And as of now, you can see that is this Axis promotional video clip being played. And if they finish, it goes back to a live stream of that camera for 20 seconds. And then it will start playing that clip again. So now you can combine even live stream clip, live stream again, another video clip, and you can create multiple promotions in one live stream. So you can embed more promotional video clips. Now that pre-recorded video promotional is now played live. And if I will go switch back to Cam Switcher, And as you can see, I'm back in Cam Switcher and I can just check that playlist is set up the way I want to have it. 20 seconds live camera, then play the video clip. And it goes as a loop is on, it goes round and round. So that's the easiest way how to make a one camera live stream more visually rich by embedding the promotional video clips from the SD card. In the next video, I will show you how to fetch a view from another camera and create another camera view in one live stream. So you can have more than one live camera switched among them and add the clips as well. Thank you very much. My name is Pavel Kotiza. This is our new Cam Switcher app and I'll be more than happy if you will subscribe to our YouTube channel, if you will check out our website www.camstreamer.com or reach us on our emails or social media. Thank you very much and I'll talk to you later.